it's like all oversized food. Remember the massive meatball? Now it's a massive cinnamon roll that you can take apart or not. Because I would eat the whole massive thing. It depends. If you just one for serving for one, away you go. Yes. Get a fork. Yeah. But what's cool about it is that you've done it in a crock pot. Yeah. Who's ever listen? Never heard everyone of that. loves cinnamon rolls, right? Yes. And you know, let's be honest. Cooking is just heat and time. I guess. Right. Yeah. So if you can consistently get the heat down, like in a mm -hmm. crock pot, mm -hmm. then the results should be better. Oh, okay. All yeah, right? that's fair. And there's some people out there that don't really enjoy baking. Yeah. And so Why if are you they, looking at me like that? <laughs> just saying. <laughs> I'm not I'm kind of, you know what I mean? You got that so, vibe? So, you know, and my wife, she only uses the crock pot in the kitchen. We yes. have to renovate and make the most beautiful kitchen in the world. It's like, I got my She crock only pot. wants that. But anyways, you know, whatever it is. So, this is going to be a consistent cinnamon roll. Okay. So what I did, I mean, you can make dough at home. Um, but what I did is I went to my local buns master and I said, you know, Steve, make me up some brioche dough. Because mm. brioche basically has a little bit of egg in there, yeah. a little bit of butter in there, and a little bit of sugar in there. And that's it tastes kind of what we're after. We should all have a Steve in our life. You need a Steve in your life. That's and you know so what? Uh, that's what they're there for. I mean, your bakers don't mind. And you'd imagine they're like, they're buying the dough. I don't even have to bake this stuff. Right. Let's sell you a bag of dough. That's not a problem. <laughs> So Trace, while I'm spreading this out, yes. I want you to do icing sugar, about 250 grams, and then cinnamon. Just kind of stir that up in there. Really simple. I don't want to mess around with the recipe too much. Okay. I put all the cinnamon in. Yeah, of course you did. Okay, just yeah. checking. And don't I be do afraid. things wrong a lot. I mean, I see other people. <laughs> <laughs> they all know that already. <laughs> see? And then I'm just working this, my grandmother's rolling pin. So it might not be the best rolling pin, but it's got good memories to it. I think it's a good, I think it's a good workout when you're rolling out the dough. And then you get your right? anger out, right? Yeah, you take it out on the dough. So this is basically perfect. We wanted about an eighth of an inch. Okay. How are you doing there? Are you basically I'm perfect good. too? I'm basically perfect. Give me a sprinkle. Okay. You can use your hands, you can use a spoon, you can go a little heavier. I'm trying to be all sanitary, you can go so a little it's like heavier. Oh, okay, oh, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I get it, I get no. it. Like that? Then we're, good. then we're good, yep. Okay. Like this. Now the thing is, because the first batch of the crock pot really didn't work out because I went a little too heavy. You get oh. too much sugar in the bottom, it over caramelizes, but maybe you're into that caramelization on the bottom and that's yeah. what you want to do. That's okay. cool too. So then what we're gonna do is roll this up. You follow me? Yeah, well, I this just can't believe that so you didn't well. just go to the store and buy these because Come they look. On. Well, I'm just saying they look so perfect. They did turn when out you really see how they well. Look, it's gonna look, you know. So the other off. thing is, you want to keep this about just over an inch. Okay. But that does look like a nice cinnamon, right? Roll, doesn't it? It's because perfect. you go a little too big, the heat from the bottom of the crock pot won't cook the top of the cinnamon roll. Right. So basically, we just want a nice little thin one like that. I just had a thought. You can actually put anything you want in there. Chocolate chips. Right. Right. That's what I was thinking. You know, thinking. you could. We're you just kind of keeping this brain. classic. You could put gummy bears in there if you really want to freak some people out. I don't know. You could actually. My <laughs> daughter'd be into that. Next, I've just got some parchment paper. I put some water on it, but the, the real trick here is some olive oil. Okay. And you just want to scrunch it up. And I know it kind of looks messy and, and kind of mm. gross, but you know, it's really good for the hands. Okay. You need soft hands, right? Yes, you so there do. There you go. Then we're gonna do, we're just gonna layer this into our crock pot. Okay, so this bottom. is so it doesn't stick to the bottom. It doesn't stick to the bottom. And you wanna push these in, but keep in mind, you want to have some room in between because what we're after here is we want them to double in size. Right. You following me? Right, so it's like putting cookies on the cookie sheet. Leave a little bit of space. Exactly, but here's where the crock pot really comes into play. Mm -hmm. You set it on warm. Yeah. You put this down and you've got a perfect bread proofer. Okay. You know, like the expensive bakeries, they always proof their bread, and that's how you yes. get the soft and the velvety. So you put it on warm, it just like kind of buzzes along and it puffs up, right? Okay. Then you're gonna crank it up to high, you're gonna bake it for about mm, one hour. Oh, so you start it on warm? Start it on warm until it doubles. And Okay. And then we're gonna go to high for one hour. And then what are we gonna make In while the meantime, that's happening? This is the best thing ever. You know, I'm not the strongest baker, but when you can do icing with a nub of butter, a bit of cream cheese, mm -hmm. some icing sugar, yeah. and some milk, and then you're done. Any icing with cream cheese? Hello. Good. <laughs> yeah. Now you just need about 20 seconds. So you do the math, you've got about nine, 59 minutes and 40 seconds to, to do nothing. Oh, probably some cold beer around or something. <laughs> 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 you know. So the cream cheese icing is done. And you ready for the unveiling? Let's do it. Boop, boop, boop. Oh my goodness. So, so look at them all it. comfy and cozy right? together, smushed up together in this to crock pot. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. And That's what I'm saying. I would eat that all together. It's the perfect. Come on, girl. Come on. 
Look at that. It's actually the perfect temperature because it just brings the bread up to that right temperature. Yeah. And then just lets it go. And so it's nice and soft. So after the one hour baking, just let it stand for 15 minutes. And then you're just gonna take your icing and you're gonna be like, mm. what up, buttercup? Doesn't that, that look, doesn't that look almost store-bought? That go. looks pretty amazing. Give I it gotta up admit, for Chef Randy. The first one didn't make it here.